this April, uh, the, it's so weird that coinciding with the ending of, of this show is the 25th anniversary of my coming out episode on my sitcom, which you were a part of. Mm -hmm. And we have a clip of, I think this is the very end of the show. We, we yeah, have it was it. the credits. Yeah, I think. It's really good, because the whole joke was the... Yeah, of that yeah, I'd get... Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You get certified. <laughs> you know, here she is. Okay, Miss Morgan, I have just one question for you. Are you gay? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> and sign right there. And initial here. And initial here. Oh. And sign here. Wow, I didn't know it was so complicated. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Susan, there's your toaster. Oh, thank you so much. Fantastic. You have no idea. 25 years later, I still get people going, "Where's my toaster? Where's my?" Like, yeah. Like I'm supposed to give toasters out right. because they're gay. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> what do you remember about that, though? Oh my gosh, I just remember the. It was all hush hush for one. It was like you can't tell anybody. You can't yeah. tell anybody. And then going to the show that I remember, one you gave me the most. Fabulous trailer to, to uh, sit in, but the that the, everyone was there and it was such a huge. I mean, Oprah, um, uh, Demi, everybody, everybody was yeah. involved in this because it was such a it was a big cultural experience. Yeah. This had never happened on television. Yeah, and and it was just really cool to be part of it. Yeah, it was a there was like an electric feeling in that room. It was yeah. it was really great. I want to share my favorite moment that you that I've had with you on the show. Oh, okay. All right, let's take a look. You were learning pole dancing. Okay. I used to do a lot of field shoots for you. Yes. This was one of my favorite field shoots where I had to learn how to pole dance. You took, you made me go to a pole dancing class. But you know what? I got them moves, baby. Look at me. I was... Look. Yes. Yes. She ain't got me. She look. ain't got me. Yeah. Look, look. The skinny girls, look. Yeah. And then look. So I couldn't get all the way up there. I no. just stayed down. because. I didn't want to hurt myself because I had to come back to work. But right. that was one of my favorite moments, too. Yeah. I'm glad you remember because I forgot. Yeah. No. <laughs> we, we were just trying to fulfill a dream for you. You said you wanted to learn pole dancing, so we sent you to learn pole dancing. And that's the thing about you. You would always listen to me. That's why I had to be careful. So if I said, you know, I want to get drunk on the show, she would have liquor the next day. I was like, wow, she fulfills my dream. So thank you so much. Can we give Ellen her flowers right now? Can we? You're very sweet. Thank you so much. And I think the pole dancing was was a good. I don't know if it's responsible for your boyfriend, but you've been with him for three years now, mm -hmm. and uh, that had to have helped a little bit. Actually, it was that. But before that, remember you set up my ChristianMingle.com uh -huh. website because I met him online on Christian Mingle, even though we both not Christians, but we religious. <laughs> and we met on there, and it, we've been together for three years. His name is James. He's the sweetest. Look at Boo Boo. Wait, hold on. You both were on Christian Mingle and neither of you are, are Christian or religious? No, no, we're religious, but we're not Christians. But you know what? I wanted to meet a nice man. And so I figured, well, let me go on ChristianMingle.com. And he was there too. And then when he said he wasn't really Christian, but he religious, and I was like, well, then maybe this is God's way of putting us together. And I, we've been together ever since. You're a FedEx driver. Yes. But you post singing things on, on TikTok a lot, right? <laughs> right. Okay, right. so when you deliver things, people recognize you? Yes, ma'am. Um, like, when I got hired on, all I did was just post videos, and I just started noticing people just stopping me everywhere. They was like, hey, sing us a song. And I'd be like, here is your package. Hallelujah! Oh, my God! Your voice is incredible. Your voice is incredible. And I know that you're from Louisiana, my home state. Yes, and I know that the hurricanes are doing such devastation to a lot of homes there. Right. And, uh, and also, you're a frontline worker, so we have something for you. We want wow. to send you to... Oh, it's a FedEx package. <laughs> Here it is. 
Deshaun, you're getting an all-inclusive six-night stay for two at the luxury Grand Velas Riviera Maya in Mexico, where you can enjoy the white sand beach, spacious suites, largest spa in Riviera Maya. 